everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to integrate open cv for flutter especially for android this video will be only for flutter android i will make a separate video on uh, ios as well flutter ios so firstly you will have to go to this particular url opencv.org slash releases you will have to click on android option whatever is the latest version just click on android it will download a zip directory a zip file for you you will have to extract it and uh, so you will see something like this next you will have to create a flutter project so i have already created a flutter project then you will have to open the android folder inside android studio i have already done that as well next uh, what we have to do is so i have written down these steps because i keep forgetting it so we have to click on file new import module so file new import module then we'll have to select the unzipped file which we have created so i'll just go to the downloads directory select open cv android sdk here you will have to select the sdk click open give it some name i will just name it as open cv okay i'll click on finish uh, this might take some time uh, so let it uh, work let it do it let uh, let it uh, do its own thing uh, then uh, what we'll have to do is so uh, most probably you will face an error like what i have faced so for to resolve that error i will just open one file okay you don't have to do this so i'll just open this okay so it is still building uh, let it build okay uh, means it is importing my open cv project so hopefully it should finish okay it has finished uh, now what i'll do is i'll just click i'll go to gradle scripts and here inside settings dot gradle okay <clears throat> it has imported properly open cv but i was facing an issue on android because in android uh, like for gradle files uh, in native android project uh, the gradle files are in kotlin as well but here it is in groovy that's why i didn't face this issue uh, but yeah that's a good thing then we'll have to update the min and max hdk as well so if you see the min and max hdk default inside a default so I'll just uh, set it. What is the mean HDK? So mean HDK, I will set it as I don't know 24, and max HDK at the time of this recording is 34. Okay. So if I just search for this target HDK version, let's see what it is. Okay, it is 31 over here. Okay, <coughs> I'll just update this to 34. But whatever is the latest version, you should use that. Okay, and also is the yeah compile hdk version also i'll keep it as 34 so this is in my uh, flutter build.gradle then i'll have to open the build.gradle of open cv and i'll go over here i'll change this also as 34 min hdk i have kept it as 24 and 34 is the maximum target hdk version at the time of me recording okay once that is done i'll just click on sync now <coughs> okay so this has done uh, or then we'll have to go to file project structure dependencies go to file project structure dependencies all all dependencies click the plus button over here select module dependency select your app click ok and here okay let's see file project dependency select all modules click plus yes that's what we have done so i'll just select open cv from this i'll click ok open cv not found in okay i'll just click on up i'll just click on apply problems found okay i'll click on review click 
click apply ignore and apply and click ok okay and i'll what i'll do is that i'll just click on this build icon just to see if there are any errors so again this might take some time okay this might take some time so i'll just edit this part out okay for so for me the build uh, succeeded successfully uh, then uh, what i'll do is that i will add some code which will pick an image from a photo picker app from our photo pickers and it will select that image then i will convert that image to grayscale just to show it to you that open cv has been properly integrated inside our app so be right back okay guys so i have added uh, the boilerplate code for picking image transforming it to grayscale with the help of open cv i will show you that in a bit but firstly i will show you guys the output so i have one button called open image picker i'll click on it it opens the uh, image picker for me on android i'll select one image and here you can see that that image was converted to grayscale image so yeah let's see how to do this so first i'm not using any third party libraries because i don't like using it i have written everything natively so firstly uh, inside your main.dart i have created okay, so let's have a look at the code so inside main.dart i have uh, created this home page uh, my home page which is present by default i have just refactored it so firstly i have defined this image picker platform now same identifier you will have to use it on the native android side as well this will uh, so there are two things one uh, one i have created method channel for picking images from the image picker once we get the once user picks the image we send the url from native android side to flutter side and once we get the url we send it to a native view which again from flutter to native android side uh, which will help us to convert the image to grayscale so here i have defined our method channel which will help us to pick the image i have created one variable for uh, storing the image url once the image is picked here i have created one text button and on press of it we are just calling this image picker channel dot invoke method now this method has to be defined on the native android side once we get the url from it we just store it to this variable and if you see over here once this u u variable is not equal to empty we are displaying this my image view which is a custom widget i have created to display a native view now if you come to this particular class my image view dot dart this is a stateful widget it takes an image url and we have created this map of creation params which will help us to send this image url from uh, flutter side to native android side and if the platform is android we are just displaying an android view of view type my image view the layout direction is from left to right we are passing our creation params and this is boilerplate code of standard message codec don't try to run this on ios because we haven't uh, done anything for ios this is only for android next we'll come back to android studio first uh, you will have to go to build.gradle.kts and here i have added up uh, this was already added by default right because we had configured open cv so you will have to also add these two dependencies this is required for using flutter fragment activity so that we can use register for activity result to pick an image uh, once that is done uh, uh, not in this but in settings.gradle uh, i have also updated the kotlin version to 1.9.0 then you can just click on sync now then go to main activity here we have defined a method channel result first and we have overridden this on create method so that uh, as soon as our main activity is loaded we will initialize open cv as well so that's why you will have to write this bit of code also here i have refactored from flutter activity to flutter fragment activity because that is required for register for activity result here we are initializing our image view so i am using same identifier which we have used it on the flutter side as well so here you can see and here we have defined our method channel so same identifier which we have defined inside main dot dot so this one and for picking image it is pick image without platform without permission sorry so this one and here once this method is called we are calling this launch new photo picker so if you see over here 
uh, we have defined one variable register for activity result we so whenever a user picks an image we get a uri and we send the uri back to flutter side as a string and here we can see, you can see we allow only user to pick images only then you will have to create a kotlin class called my image view factory and here you will have to write this boilerplate code this is necessary whenever you are writing any kind of native android view so i have just written it and here it is referencing another kotlin file which i have created called my image view so you will have to also write this bit of code again this is boilerplate code so here we are first initializing our image view this mat is from opencv we are returning our image view inside get view method and inside initialization i am first setting the layout params for our image view so whatever width and height you have defined inside flutter for size box it should occupy that entire width and height so this one that's why i have defined this match parent for width and height then we get the image url which we send from flutter to native android side we parse it to uri and then we generate a bitmap so this is the code for generating bitmap above android p and this is for below android p and then we convert it to argb underscore four times eight uh, once we get the particular bitmap we if the mat is still null we then initialize it then all these methods are from opencv so first is utils dot bitmap to mat we pass our bitmap pass our mat then we use this image proc dot ctv color so pass our mat two times and here we pass from what to what we have to convert so we are converting our image from rgb to gray so that's what this name uh, this property name is and last we have to convert utils dot mat to bitmap previous firstly we were using bitmap to mat now we are using mat to bitmap pass our mat pass our bitmap and then we save our uh, bitmap inside uh, image view set bit set image bitmap so yeah that's it that's how you use opencv for flutter android thank you for watching bye